take the uh, information about uh, radio frequency ablation, especially when we're dealing with toxic nodules, learn about it. I think it's an option available. It does have its its benefit, as we mentioned, compared to the surgery to a radioactive ionine or long-term medication. And I think considering it is reasonable, but discussing with a physician who will perform radiofrequency ablation, asking them about their success rate uh, and their experience with their own patient about their outcome is an important thing when deciding about which option is the best for them. Uh, I think that's kind of a, my advice. and I. Uh, feel very uh, comfortable to say yes. Radio frequency ablation is another tool available in our toolbox for treatment of patients with toxic adenoma. And I think its outcome, I'm hopeful with years to come, it will confirm that this is an, a good option for patients when they are dealing with this medical condition. Any patients who are viewing this episode, if you would like to engage with other patients who have undergone this procedure, be sure to visit our website, saveyourthyroid.org, and join our private Facebook community, Save Your Thyroid Non-Surgical Nodule Procedures, and you can meet and chat with other patients there.